What's up, guys? It's Sutek. It's Sunday, September 24th, and I have a hype watch video for you right now. I've actually come across this football change website, which purports to have a line into the professional soccer world, and they claim to recruit players from the younger, you know, the youth soccer leagues around the United Kingdom and get them into the major leagues, you know, um, the Euro leagues and whatnot. And for some reason, for whatever reason, they accept Bitcoin and pay you out Bitcoin investments. And I'm not, I don't really do not understand how these two paths cross. I don't know what they use the Bitcoin for and how you get, money back and, and profit because I don't understand where they get their money from. So that's why this is a huge red flag for me. Well, one of the many reasons, actually. So here's the so-called CEO, Will Thornton Jr. And here we have the official, official TV spot. On almost everyone. Fake billboard. Kid that looks up and dreams about being a great soccer player or a footballer, whatever you know, wherever you are in the world, you call it a different thing depending on where you are. But I'm gonna refer to it as soccer just because I'm in the US, and uh, so don't take any offense to it, there's no disrespect, man. But I'm just doing it to identify the sport. So here we have this soccer player supposedly getting signed to a major league team. And Will you change the rules? we change the rules, you can change the game. Change I, the game. I, this doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand what Bitcoin has to do with this at all. So they don't make any kind of links or connections that you can follow. And they don't put together a plan and a vision on the site explaining what exactly it is, their goal is and how your Bitcoin is a part of it. So here's the, the supposed founder, Will Thornton Jr. or Will Thornton Sr. explaining footballchange.com. Hello, I'm William. The thing that separates life from death is but a single heartbeat. This is a sentence which has guided me throughout the whole of my life and reminds me of how little is required to make the biggest change. Many times I have witnessed how aspiring, unsculptured talent can become a book. Now, what does this look like if you've been uh, following a lot of these hypes? What does this look like to you? To me, it looks exactly like control finance. Why? Because Control Finance have Benjamin Reynolds sitting at an empty desk with the Control Finance logo on everything. Benjamin Reynolds had the Control Finance logo right here where this logo is on a laptop. Control Finance logo was on uh, the wall in the background. And Control Finance also had a flag on the desk. Uh, the red control finance football change is basically the exact same thing there is an empty desk with the football change logo on a bunch of stuff but no indication of of how um no indication of its existence its real existence no indication that there's actually foot traffic in the office or that anybody's really doing anything it's just nothing so, huge red flag once again. Now, we can look up the Football Change LTD address, which is Plain Platte Lane Complex, U Tree Road, Manchester, M14700, United Kingdom. So, if you pull that up, here's what we get we get this. open field here with this building that looks like it's a suite to a couple of office buildings I don't know what 
but when I exit out of here and you look at the top down view Google map this is actually Manchester it's actually a huge complex it's basically a park it looks like a public park and uh, this building is called Manchester FC Manchester City FC Academy so this is a school it's not a business So this building here, this looks like some so, sort of, uh, maybe it's a gymnasium or some kind of, uh, you know, satellite building for the Manchester FC School Academy. So that doesn't look legit. And then, so let's go look at the plans for a minute. Before we do that, actually, look at the logos down here. Evox, FIFA, all right, FIFA... They're just using the logo. FIFA, I doubt, has anything to do with this. Mo Ibrahim Foundation. Who's that? I don't know. The Nigeria Football Association. I doubt they're endorsing this website and this company. Gatorade. I doubt they have any knowledge that their logo is being used. So uh, these companies and these organizations, I doubt, have any affiliation whatsoever with footballchange.com so the here's the players that actually this is not the section there's a section that has the players that they're attempting to recruit here's the about us page now look at this does this look like an office a lot of these pictures are, rend are renders these look like total, you know, I mean, what are these? These are chairs? This does not look like a functioning office. There's no file cabinets. There's nothing in here. So this is a total 3D render. This ball is fake. These are fake. There's a page now. There's a uh, hmm. There's a page that has a list of the players that they're trying to recruit, but I can't find it right now. Let's look at the investment plans. So they have the junior investment plan here, 1.1 daily average for 30 days, minimum $50 investment. Youngster. 1.3 percent, 45 day uh, time duration, $1,000 minimum investment, and then there's the professional, 1.5 percent daily interest, 60 day time duration, and $5,000 minimum investment, $5,000 USD. And then there's VIP, which is probably only for people who have major amounts of money in there. <laughs> Every investor interested in investing in amount above 15k is asked to fill out an application and to contact company CEO Mr. William Thornton Sr. directly. Who's this guy? I don't know. So I don't understand what this has to do with football or soccer at all. I mean, do they use this money to recruit players and then once they sign them, they give you a kickback? I don't understand. I don't understand how they're able to pay you within 30 days, you know, 1.5% of the amount of, money, of $10. I mean, what means are they using to generate income? No clue. And to add insult to injury, let's take a look at this for a second. They have a charity shop. So you can buy a mug with their logo, a shirt with their logo, a towel with their logo, and Bitcoin, and supposedly it goes somewhere. I mean, they don't even tell you where it goes. 
that just tell you uh, it's donated to charity and have a picture of young black kids on here. Probably from Africa, because one of the um, top leaders or one of the company heads is Nigerian. So they use that to sucker in people. It looks like they're using that to sucker people in because they don't tell you where the money's going. They just have a bunch of kids up there. Who are these guys? Okay, so here's the staff. This is what I was looking for. William Thornton Sr., the guy in the video. Michael Chong. Management team. Deputy CEO. Player, agent, and scout. Okay. Benga Alawan Fise. I hope I pronounced that correctly. But all right, here's a scout. So they have scout, multiple scouts, and then they have support team, and they have a favorite team. How that's relevant, I have no idea. I mean, this is a a finance company, so why does it matter what their favorite team is? I don't care who, you know. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, okay, if her te favorite team is Chelsea FC and mine is Manchester United, why does it matter? I just want support. I don't care about who your favorite team is. So this has nothing to do with soccer at all. I don't understand what this is. I know I'm ranting a bit, but guys, you can see that this is a, a sh total sham. Yeah, football chat football change we know how to spot real talent but we also know how easily talent can be overlooked our passion and purpose is working hard and constantly to open doors for professional football for those who want to leave their mark in history wow that's a great platitude but this tells me nothing so guys this is definitely stay away from You want to know another red flag? Another red flag is um, da -da -da. what am I looking for? Okay, here we go. So how does football change earn a profit for investors? All right, this is such a vague answer, even though it's long-winded here. There's a lot here, but it doesn't tell you anything. The types of investment plans on the site and the descriptions are just examples of the various levels of investment and earning potential. All of the resources we have at our disposal at this time were developed through years of hard work and the signing of many contracts, which have recently started generating the required levels of income. The main idea of football change remains the same. The concept of acquiring talented young players, signing association agreements with them, and sending them to try out for clubs. Each contract is tailored to the individual and has differing conditions. Many or much depends on the development of the player, the new club, boom, boom, boom. Instead of being limited, wrong. Okay, so what? <laughs> this doesn't tell you anything whatsoever about how they earn money for you this is a total joke so guys remember this name football change total scam looks just like control finance has a fairly slick website at least isn't proper like a lot of the grammar in English is good, so you know it's writ not written by uh, Google Translate. So, but yeah, stay away, far away from this one. Woo! 
This one looks bad. Anyway, let me share a quick update with you guys. My Leonardo bot today. I made a few trades, two trades actually. Made uh, one here. Actually, should have held it longer. This is a nice bull for 3.42% profit. And I took a small loss here on this one. Was actually bought at the tip of the uh, the MACD histogram, and I should have actually just held back. But uh, you know, it's a lesson. Sometimes we get or let our emotions get carried away, and we react on impulse rather than sticking to the script. That's what happened. So, <clears throat> one point four two percent loss, but still a two percent profit on the day. So I'm happy. But uh, yeah, guys, when you have a game plan, I know I've been preaching this, but stick to it and don't let your emotions get, you know, carried away. But uh, yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. Enjoy your Sunday and take care. Peace out. I'll see you next time.